At the beginning of every year, it's obviously common for people to make New Year's resolutions. But when it comes to scientists, pundits, even psychics, it's all about looking at the charts, the trends, maybe even crystal balls to make their predictions. And it turns out that a lot of people in the past have made pretty lofty predictions about what the year 2020 would look like, what the world would look like. Sadly, they might have given us a lot more credit than we are due, and I'm sure many of you are asking, where's my jetpack, for example? But Grace Houck from USA Today took a deeper dive into major predictions that sadly have not come true or have not been perfected. Grace, great to have you with us. Happy New Year. Happy New Year, Alex. Thanks for having me on. Of course. Now, let's start with some of the major failures in the tech world, the failures of the, of the predictions. Now, we made a list of some of those things. Invisible computers, that is somewhat mm -hmm. true. Paper books and docs, uh, no more docs, wrong. Anti-gravity belts, wrong. <laughs> Personal companions, somewhat true. Uh, tracking moves digitally, that of course is very true. Self-driving cars, right. somewhat true. Um, voting from home, that's wrong, but there, of course there is potential. What else are you looking at? What's on your list? Yeah, I mean, to be fair, I think, you know, each of those categories you should dig into a little bit deeper. Um, yes, we are want to say that we haven't exactly made all the technological progress that a lot of these futurists thought we would make by the year 2020, but we are seeing some progress. For example, self-driving cars. Are they fully autonomous? Are they widely used and commercially available? No, but the technology is there. We're seeing pilot programs in places like Detroit, Phoenix, Boston. Um, we're, we're going to get there. Um, for something like invisible computers. So that was a prediction that came from Ray Kurzweil. He's a futurist, very well known, has uh, sold five best-selling books, and he's been affiliated with MIT. He's director of engineering with Google. And in 1999, in his book, The Age of Spiritual Machines, he said that we'd have invisible computers that are embedded in everything, like tables, chairs. So by invisible, he didn't mean they were literally microscopic and you couldn't see them, but he meant they were everywhere. They were prominent. They were ubiquitous. Um, and we do see that. We have smart everything these days. We have smart desks. We have smart headbands, smart forks, uh, bio scarves. We even have uh, smart contact lenses and Google Glass. So while some of these may seem like they're outrageous, um, some of them are kind of spot on. And one tech prediction that was pretty spot on was from Gil Bill Gates in 1999. Um, he wrote a book, Business at the Speed of Thought. And uh, he thought that by the year 2020, we'd all have personal companions. And many of his other predictions from that year also came true. He essentially predicted social media. Um, but these personal companions, he said, would share information with each other. They could help us complete our daily tasks and would tell us what we need when we're at the grocery store. They'd, they'd, they'd share information with each other, um, which is essentially Amazon Alexa, Siri, Google Home. So we do see things like that. And we just did see the uh, general election in Great Britain that uh, Boris Johnson right. prevailed in. He was, he is of course, mm -hmm. the prime minister now. And then 20 years ago, a British news organization predicted something about Boris Johnson. What was that? Yeah, so this was probably one of my favorite outcomes of this project, was just like stumbling across this. And this is, you know, not a tech prediction, but in 1997, two journalists working for the Independent, the British journalistic organization, um, they said that Boris Johnson would be a top UK minister in the year 2020. So this was uh, their prophecy. They wrote an article called uh, The Cabinet of the Future. And uh, they said that Boris Johnson would be a, a prominent UK minister, and he is, that's exactly right. And they also nailed him because they saw that he wanted to lead Brexit at that time. He said that he wanted to make the UK to Europe as Canada is to the US, aka separate countries. Um, and at the time, he had never held public office. He was only a well-known columnist and editor. He was known as the leader of the right, W-R-I-T-E, not right. Um, so he, it wasn't until 2001 that he actually became an MP and until 2016 under Theresa May that he became foreign secretary and was a member of the cabinet. So this was a, a pretty amazing prediction for 1997, the year that the Conservative Party did not do very well in elections. So uh, they were spot on on that one. Yeah, spot on, shockingly accurate. And uh, Boris Johnson is nothing if not prominent. Grace Houck, thanks very much for joining right. me.